Hi and welcome to this video on, Understanding the Differences Between Men and Women. While men and women are equal in many ways, there are some fundamental differences in how they think, behave, and communicate. Here are some key differences to keep in mind. Firstly, men and women have different hormonal and biological makeups. For example, men have higher levels of testosterone, which is associated with aggression, physical strength, and sexual desire, while women have higher levels of estrogen, which is associated with nurturing, emotional awareness, and reproductive health. Secondly, men and women have different communication styles. Men tend to be more direct, assertive, and goal-oriented in their communication, while women tend to be more indirect, empathetic, and relationship-oriented. This can lead to misunderstandings and conflicts in communication between men and women. Thirdly, men and women have different emotional responses. Women tend to be more expressive and in touch with their emotions, while men tend to suppress their emotions and express them less openly. This can lead to different ways of coping with stress and dealing with emotional issues. Fourthly, men and women have different social expectations and roles. Women are often expected to be caretakers, nurturers, and caregivers, while men are often expected to be providers, protectors, and leaders. These expectations can influence how men and women see themselves and their roles in society. Fifthly, in general, the differences between the human male and female orgasms are that the climax in the female can be physiologically interrupted more easily than can the male response, and the male's orgasm is usually accompanied by ejaculation of semen. Both male and female experience momentary muscular contractions during the orgasm, but the female's effects are usually longer in duration. Since the male responses are usually more rapidly induced, the male probably achieves orgasms more consistently during intercourse than does the female. Once the female attains an orgasm, however, she remains sexually excited longer and may experience several successive orgasms, whereas the male is ordinarily unable to experience a second orgasm except after a waiting period. Lastly, it's important to remember that not all men and women are the same. There is a wide range of individual differences within each gender, and people should be judged based on their individual qualities and attributes rather than their gender. In summary, while men and women are fundamentally different in their biology, communication styles, emotional responses, social expectations, sex experience, and roles, it's important to recognize and respect these differences in order to communicate effectively and build healthy relationships. By understanding and accepting these differences, we can create a more harmonious and equal society.